I got a secret indicator I want to show you guys. It's three different indicators combined to give you a very solid idea on when to get long and when to get short here on the ES. Let's break it down. I know everyone's been waiting, been asking, Patrick, what's the indicator? Let's go. What's going on guys? One thing that I want to make very clear, there is no indicator out there. There is no indicator that is going to be 100% correct. You know, these indicators are giving us ideas. We really want to focus on the price action, what's going on, certain levels, support, resistance. So I want to make that very clear. This is not a 100% accurate indicator. Also, these indicators are lagging. So they are lagging the price action and they show up kind of repainting and doing weird things. The first thing that I want to look at when I'm looking for a trade is the SPY. I look at the SPY, I look and see like, hey, what's going on? Are we trending? Are we chopping? Are we above the VWAP? Are we bouncing off the pivot points? So there's the pivot points on the SPY and the VWAP on the SPY. You can see today we had some kind of just choppy action around the VWAP. We got above the VWAP right here. So we got above the VWAP. So we know like, hey, if we're pushing back above the VWAP, let's now look at the smaller time frames to see what's going on. And then you'll see what I'm looking at here. So then I zoom in on the one minute chart and there's that breakout right there from the 58s up there to the 75s. We had a buy signal here on the indicator as well. So we had a little buy signal. We got the breakout. We're above the 21. Also, look down here. The MACD is bullish. So we're above the 21 EMA. We're above the SPY VWAP. We're pushing up to the SPY pivot point. These are all things that I'm looking for. I'm not just going to enter a trade because the indicator says to buy or to sell, right? I'm looking for all these things to combine, right? I want everything to be lining up. At least, you know, two or three of the four or five indicators that I'm using, I want all of these things to be in line with what the overall focus is. I'm also focused on the 15 minute chart here as well. So the 15 minute chart give me an overall idea kind of where we're going, where resistance is, is the trend down, is it up, what is going on? So I like to make sure 15 minute chart looks good. And then again, you know, the spy chart, are we pushing above the VWAP? Are we pushing up there to the pivot point? So what indicators are on this chart right now. We have the 21 EMA, so very simple, 21 EMA, nothing fancy, right there, easy, 21 EMA, put it on there, it's free on trading view. So I add that, and then the other indicator that I'm using is the trend lines with breaks Lux Algo. You can see here what I have set up. Right now I have the 14 with the slope at 0.5, and the slope calculation is ATR. Pretty basic, I think sometimes they have it to like one slope, but I have it to 0.5. I've found after testing it for a while that the 0.5 is a little bit more accurate for these entries. We have the MACD down there as well. So MACD 21 and the Lux Algo trend lines with breaks. These are all free indicators on TradingView. This indicator right here that I'm using with the price action concepts is the paid Lux Algo indicator that I use on the streams and all that. So I really like having a combination of kind of like all this stuff. But if you don't want to pay for the Lux Algo indicator, they do have a lot of free indicators as well. But the price concepts really gives me an overall idea like, hey, we're pushing up where it might be resistance, where previous levels, you know, the days, the highs. We have a pivot point there of the 89. How would I trade this breakout? If I'm getting in here long off this break, we get the signal, right? We got the signal to buy to get long. We're above the 21. So we're above the 21. We got the signal to buy. The MACD is also in line with what we're looking at. Remember, we're above the VWAP on the SPY chart. We got that pivot point to the upside. Now we're looking for like a 10 to 20 handle move to the upside, which that's exactly what we got there on the one minute chart. We break out here over the 58s. We go from the 58s all the way up there to the 75s. And then look at this move all the way up there to the 84s. Another thing that I really like about this indicator as well is the 21. EMA, right? I like the 21 EMA on there because look, I can basically stay long, you know, maybe take my partials for this push up, kind of wait, wait, wait. Okay, look, we're still holding above 21. We're still holding. Then they bam, all the way there to the 84s. You can see also, you know, earlier we had some breakouts, kind of a choppy overall day. I mean, an overall just kind of choppy, crazy day. We got this sell signal here to the break of the downside, which the MACD was bearish there. So the MACD, we got the sell from the 54s down there to the 43s, like 10 handles right there. We got back above the 21. 
I like the 21 because it really gives you an idea of what the trend is. If we're below the 21, obviously we're trending lower. If we're above the 21, we're trending higher. And it also kind of stops you from staying, I would say like staying out of this choppy area. When the market's like this, it's not really like holding there above the 21 or below the 21, like it's just chopping around. It's probably a good sign to like stay out of the trade because we're just not getting that clean price action. But again, the MACD also, you know, we want to make sure that MACD is bullish when we're in these trades. And again, a warning to you guys that these indicators are not like a end all be all. Like you still need to understand price action. You still need to see kind of where the levels are. Make sure, you know, we're looking at the pivot points. Is there resistance? You know, if I'm entering there at the 50s, I can see we had a high there at the 70s. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to buy right at resistance or, you know, right at an area that we got stuck at before, things like that. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, overall understanding what the price action is doing. Today, price action really choppy, kind of up, down, just bouncing, you know, off of these levels there and do, do, do. But in general, look at the big picture, you know, look at the 15 minute chart before jumping into a trade, focusing like, hey, okay, look, on the 15 minute chart, we just broke out right there, right? We just broke out over the 55s. The high on that candle 15 minute chart right there was 55. Once we finally break out, that's when we're looking to get long, right? We're not just like, oh, hey, okay, uh, you know, I'm gonna get long because we're going down just because the signal said so. I wanna make sure that like, the trend is in my favor. The overall momentum is in my favor. I don't wanna just go and buy just because this indicator told me to buy. But once I'm like, hey, look, you know, we're breaking out here, everything's lining up. Oh my gosh, now I have my buy signal. I got confirmation. We have the MACD bullish. Everything's lining up, you know, we're above the 21. Asking all these questions is gonna keep you from trading, I would say like bad setups because you're basically just creating rules for your setups, you're creating an edge. Speaking of edge, if you guys wanna learn more about edge and how to build a process and how to have the right mindset for day trading, you can learn more down below in the Market Flow Trader community. We have the whole entire system. We actually have a mindset coach as well. You guys can do one-on-one -on -one training there. So link down below if you wanna learn more about the overall process, the edge, and how you combine all that with your mindset. To really become consistent when it comes to trading, you need to have all three of those things lining up. And that's what we focus on with the Market Flow Trader community. But back to it here, again, you know, just recapping, we have the trend lines with the breaks, we have the 21 EMA, and then we have the MACD down below on this chart. You can go to the bigger time frames. You know, if you go to the three minute chart, you'll see you also get signals on the bigger time frames. The bigger time frame signals are gonna be a little bit more consistent. You know, you're not gonna get as many fake outs on the bigger time frames. Like if we go five minute chart, there's a buy signal there, uh, no buy signals there. There was a short signal there this morning at 4.30 from the 80s all the way down there to the 40s. So if you look at the bigger time frames, you're gonna get less signals, but I would say those signals when they do appear are gonna be a lot more consistent compared to the smaller time frames. But if you're a day trader and you're like, hey, I wanna get in, I wanna make money, 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 you know, the one minute time frame, or even the two minute time frame, again, right there, good signal at the 57. So you can see like the two minute time frame right there, MACD was bullish, 21 EMA. So it really comes down to your overall preferences. So this candle would have closed right there above that trend line. So you're getting that trend line break and that's would have been the breakout, which again, like this signal, this indicator is nothing more than trend line breaks, right? Like getting confirmation of a trend line break. So the Lux Algo trend line breaker, whatever, it's going to basically draw all the trend lines on there for you. So you can see here, you know, this is what it looks like with no Lux Algo trend line breaks. And if we add it on there, then you get the trend line break. So it's kind of nice because it, again, it's giving you these trend lines, just showing you maybe possible reversal areas, balances if you're short. You know, if I'm short here, okay, and then I'm like looking down there. So you see opportunities depending on the overall setups. And that's basically what I've been talking about here on the channel and on YouTube. And like I said, 21 EMA, MACD, the trend lines with breaks, mess around with it, test out different settings. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. There it is, the big time secret indicator that's totally free here on TradingView. If you guys enjoy these videos, do me one big favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, all the buttons down below. I will talk to you guys later on.